Who's that? Pull back. Hello guys, and welcome. It is that SW2 dude here today, bringing you yet another episode of the Tearing Up series, where you guys in the comment section below tell me what weapons to use and tear it up with and whatnot. Now I know it's been one month since I've done one of these episodes. I am sorry, sometimes I take a little too long to actually go ahead and get around to doing this because there's a lot of other videos to also be done at the same time and also life. <laughs> Either way, uh, let's get into it and see what weapon we're going to tear it up with today. Now, the weapon of choice for today is none other than the Custom Jet Squelcher, an old favorite of mine and I have used this weapon quite a bit. So, Custom Jet Squelcher has Burst Bomb and Stingray. Uh, it's a, one of those backline weapons that I still honestly feel is really good, uh, but just a lot of people don't use it mainly because the weapon's hard to use. <laughs> I guess that's one of the main things, like there's a lot of aim that has to be required to use this thing, uh, but when you aim with this thing, this thing really can be like a laser at times and I mean I feel like a lot of people don't use it mainly, oh, again of course when you have things like the bull point splatling and the the heavy splatling which you just kind of charge and people just get obliterated uh, if you put their crosshair onto them. But this, you know, it doesn't really get that same, that same oomph that those kinds of weapons get. Uh, so, either way, this weapon's still really fun. And I'm going to use it today and show you how, you know, really nice this weapon can be uh, as a backline. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so here we are going into the very first game with the custom jet squelcher for tearing it up series it's about time that we get to use this weapon because like i don't know man i like this weapon so much it's such a it's such a such a nice weapon and funny enough it's actually on uh we're using uh, gonna be using it on paul Merkel, which is the stingray heaven map and uh so let's get into it so as you see i'm literally just going straight for my stingray i'm not like there's no reason for me to really push up just yet and of course, since we're on poor mackerel, we might as well just do it. Anyways, sing right away. Uh, if I can get a hit or something, I'm... Nah, I couldn't get him. But I did get one assist at least, so that's somewhat helpful. But maybe I can go for another one. There is a dually scorcher, I believe. I don't know what that was. That's the... That's a 52, actually. But wait, no, there's a... There's a... I did hear a, a dually. There we go. Alright, we're going for Stingray again. Hopefully we get some more luck with this. Uh, that guy's doing that. I'm actually just going to back up since uh, I'm not trying to get lasered by that dude. But either way, we can actually... We should be able to get back in with this. There we go, nice. As long as I'm still pumping out those Stingrays, we should be able to very easily push these guys back. Uh, because that's what you mainly do with this weapon, especially with when it has Stingray. Like, you, you are basically a Stingray ball. I think, uh, I mean, I can't remember, I didn't... Oh, dude. <laughs> Very unfortunate with that Booyah Bomb, but... I didn't actually check. I believe this thing gets, uh... Stingray at, like, 190 or 180? I'm gonna have to check that for you guys, but... It gets Stingray pretty fast if you put some special charge onto it. And, uh, you know, it's just a decent weapon for that. So well, hopefully we can get some more luck out of this Stingray. We get a bunch of hits there. There's a guy still here, he's chilling. Let's actually go through middle, get a couple assists as well, so... Take that guy out, there's one on my... behind me. In our court, there we go, nicely done. Alright, control, thank you very much. Now, it would be really nice if that I did not get hit by the, uh... You know, that one Booyah Bomb, because then I would still be... I probably would still be alive, not gonna lie. But we did. And, uh, I'm actually gonna go for a Stingray again. Oh, well, actually, no, 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 not just yet. I think it's important to know when to Stingray. Uh, you want to kind of Stingray when you know you have your people up, and they can actually go ahead and play off it. Knowing there's someone jumping here. He's trying to push, I think. I don't know what he's trying to do, do you? Yeah, I did, I did hear that right, yep. Tried to flank, heard that. <laughs> this is why headphones are really good people. There's a guy here. Oh. That 52 is very weak. I'm not going to be able to challenge him just yet. Hopefully, get him with the bust. Where is that 
guy using that booyah bomb? <laughs> I can hear the booyah bomb, but like, where is it? <laughs> I think he, I believe he's behind the uh, he was behind the platform there, so I can't exactly see him. But that's fine, it's totally fine. I got Stingray once again, so we're gonna use it again. Get this Stingray going. Guy tried to challenge me, so we're gonna go here. I believe they're on the right. I'm not the greatest Stingray user, guys, so I'm just. I'm still trying my best with it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. That should be a game there. I definitely could have got a lot more Stingray kills. Uh, and actually, no, when thinking about it, if you're using Stingray, there's actually this thing where, like, if the Stingray goes through a wall, it's going to lose... You don't get as much damage as you normally do. So that's, uh, that's I guess, one thing to worry about. But, I mean, either way, the Stingray did help. At least my teammates. So, we'll get a couple of points from that. And I shall see you guys in the next lobby. Alright, so here we are once again. Hoping to get the Stingrays off. Now, I'm literally going to start every game the same way. Even on this map. I'm about to st I'm I'm about to go left, and I'm about to get a stingray really fast. Like hopefully I should get one in about eight seconds. That's my goal to get how fast I would want to get a stingray. But you know, I really want to get stingrays fast. I don't actually I don't think I have enough special charge for that. But I mean, ten nine seconds is still fine. Either way, they have armored up. I can't feel anybody out unfortunately. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to fail on that Stingray, at least. Uh, the dude there does not see me, though. There is a Sprinkler, at least. Uh, I believe that's the Elite's Bubbles? Yeah, that is the Elite's Bubbles. I'm actually just gonna back up again. I do have Stingray once again. So hopefully we can get some more life out of that. Hey, fill someone out here. I'm just trying to... I keep trying to move it. Like, if I start hitting somebody, I move the other way because I I suspect that they might move that same way instead of just continuing to go the same one. Or just continuing to go the same way. So. That's uh, what you kind of see. And also, I'm opening up the map so I can actually tell where they're moving or what their next move is as well. So. I could have easily taken out that Helia there. Oh, he's very weak. I'm actually going to jump out here. Alright, so I do have Ray ready. So hopefully this one's more successful. This one's gonna make him weak. It's on the middle. They are very weak, but we're not pushing with that. There we go. We need to push with the Stingray so we can actually get something out of it. The Ely is in a strange spot. Probably gonna consider jumping out. Never mind. Hey. That... Uh, don't shoot me. I was trying to take that uh, enemy jet sculpture off. Or well, trying to pick him off at least. Maybe I sting right Yeah, I sting right here. Okay, nice. I think I'm stingraying a little too high here. But I was hitting someone there. We should get zoned though. Alright. We need to neutralize zone here if we're wanting to stay in the game. There we go. Oh, there's a guy right here. Okay, nice. I find that I'm probably going to get a lot of assists during this tearing up. Unless we get kills like that, too. Uh, just be careful. There we go. And this is the last guy. There we go, nicely done. Now I can... I do have the... I can use Stingrays very aggressively here. And here's why. Oh, if I can actually get myself in position. There we go. I can actually find somebody. That missile's gonna make it a little annoying. Oh man, there's a guy watching on my right. What do you want? I mean, I had teammates on my right, so I figured they would already be watching it, but it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna lose zone up that. I was hoping to get a Stingray kill there, but we unfortunately didn't. Just don't die to the bottles and then we're chilling. Let's... Oh no, 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 no. I'm too exposed there. Try and get another Stingray here. Hopefully I can get something good out of this one. Because uh, my Stingrays have not uh, shown the light of day here. I can't feel him out. He's weak. There we go. Assist. There we go. 
Alright, we're going back into the game. There's a dude chilling there. Oh, we have to really defend this one. Okay, not coming right side. There we go. Good kill. Oh, do not die, my friends. Careful of those bubbles, do. <laughs> I actually have to paint the zone here, dudes. With my weapon, it's not the easiest thing. <laughs> I'm just throwing a burst bomb on one side and then uh, shooting the shooting on the rest. There we go. All right, I had to abandon the stingray a little bit because I wasn't getting much work with it done. But uh, it still wasn't a bad game since I still like got a couple of assists there. I just didn't get any full kills. Like getting a full kill with a stingray is like. Very, 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 very helpful. Either way. And sometimes, even when you do Stingray, it can just be, like, nice as a support when uh, your teammates are also coming back in, too. Especially if you're in a safe place. So we'll get into the next one. Alright, guys. So here we go. Once again. Using custom Julie Scorcher on our third game. If we get Port Mackerel, it's going to be easier to Stingray. Uh, if we get Sturgeon, it's not going to be... I wouldn't say it's... I mean, I would say it's a little harder since things can go up and down, but the map is still relatively flat, so uh, getting things done should not be so hard. And also now we have a... Okay, no, it's not a, not a Stingray, but it's a, it's a... It's somebody that also has a weapon that would... That could potentially have a Stingray, but no st Basically none here. Anyway. Uh, nothing on the zone. There's actually two guys there. One assist. My... He may be, I might be able to take that guy out. Oh my god! And we are. <laughs> if he's gonna use Inkjet, that'd be crazy. I'm actually hitting him from here. No, no, I'm just gonna chill. There's no reason for me to try and uh, do something very silly. If uh, I'm not even within range. Oh, oh wait, no, no, no! That guy used his inkjet to survive there, which is pretty cool. I give him that. There is also a guy down there. So I'm actually going to back up and stingray him out. Unless... Oh, no, he is still there. No, he used Baller. Okay. Alright. Never mind. You got to assist on the charger, so that's cool. That guy's very weak. Ooh. If I can throw the first one on the right there. That guy's very weak. Nice. I'm just gonna chill. Squeeze is very dead. There we go, nice. We're looking for Julie's. He's jumping to the, that guy over there. They do have a bomb rush. Kind of want to pressure this guy too. Uh, Julie's is very weak. And we're just gonna keep him up there. There we go, nice. Good way, good game one there. So you, you can kind of see with this stingray, like. It's kind of, like, I mean, you can get some really good kills with it too, but, like, it can also be used to just support your people if you're if within the game, you know? Like, I guess now these days, since it's a lot weaker, you tend to get a lot more assists with them instead of, uh, you know, full kills. But either way, she'll go into the next one. Okay, so we've got another game, guys. Let's get into it. Uh, using the custom Jet Sculpture, we're... I mean, let's see if what map it's going to be on. It's going to be on Sturgeon once again. So, I mean, we have Port Mackerel right here, but we don't have it. We It's not giving it to us. <laughs> it's not giving us to us. So maybe because the, the game already knows that we have a Stingray and we're not afraid to use it. So we'll see. Man. Hopefully I can get my Stingray real fast. Okay, maybe I can only throw one Burst Bomb to actually get it uh, at decent speed. They're right here, they're moving. He's very weak. There we go, full kill there. The amount of hits that it takes to get just one of those is uh is pretty extraordinary. That guy's gonna die. Assisted by the Hydra Splatling on my team. That guy's gonna come right here. We hit him up with a burst bomb. If I can actually get the last hit on him, he will die. There we go. He's gonna assist instead. Now, I'm just chilling here. 
This is the kind of a weapon where you don't really have to... You don't have to move so much since you do have so much range to play with. Especially for a for a shooter. But it is very mobile for one of those types of weapons. It's a very mobile uh, weapon that can kind of just go in when it wants. Or, I guess, help in some cases. Nice. Now, I don't exactly know where the last two are. They're probably coming out of spawn and it might be a little bit of a struggle to them. This guy's chilling here. Ah! Okay, I shouldn't have died to that. <laughs> There's no reason for me to die to that, but... I mean, we took him out anyway, and it's gonna be a 3v... Three, 3 versus 3 situation anyway, so... I'll jump to here. Should be totally fine. Uh, I actually am a little bit... A little bit wary about this. That is a Jet Scorcher there. I am out shooting him. Junior's gonna die. Seems like the... Oh, okay. No, no, no. We have a guy coming over here. And it might seem like we have to back up. Unless I hide just lighting DCs. Which is gonna delay us quite a bit, so... Uh, rest in peace, me. No. But maybe we can still win it. Let's see. There is a Junior here. I just can't get any hits, man. I'm gonna have to use my... Laser here. Uh, I don't know who I was hitting there, but that guy is dead. One guy on the left. There we go, there's two down. That guy is dangerously weak. He actually fell off the map, so we can actually get zone off this. Hate zone real quick, there we go. I'm just gonna chill right here, maybe I'll be able to pick up one guy pretty easily. I can hear him. There we go. I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. Well, I'm not dangerous, but like, I'm pretty dang weak. <laughs> and I gotta be very careful of how I do things right now. Because, uh, I'm not trying to... Like, I would like to win. This guy's chasing me. Okay. A ping zone. Help me, help me. Shoot him! Shoot him! Come on, man! Shoot him! <laughs> Alright. It's still winnable. Nice. Okay, 2v2. 2v2. Just don't die then. It's a blob blower. Nice. Alright, cool. You killed the jet, the blob, and now we can get zone off that. Alright. Just continue what you guys are doing. And then, uh... Oh, hello. That guy needs to die. So now it's a 3v3. And it's a 3v3 for the last 10 seconds, so we're probably going to win this then. Just hold it there. Nice. Winning this 3v3, we didn't need our, our other backline, which is totally fine. I mean, we're a double backline, and, you know, it can kind of work sometimes on zones, but it can be pretty slow. <laughs> so, maybe not really much changed. Either way. But we won. We got it done. That One of those stingrays was kind of weird, but we still won, and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, guys, so here we are into our next game. Let's see what we can get done here. Maybe we'll get poor Mackerel. Or Sturgeon again. Yeah, Sturgeon again. This game doesn't want me to play on Port Mackerel if I'm using Stingray, it seems. Alright, so let's see let's just see what we can get done. Let's just do it. They're just a bunch of uh, very close range weapons, so basically I outrange everything. And I should not have any problem if I just back away from everything. Uh, gonna get the Stingray real quick. And then we go. There's a guy right there. There's another one over here. There we go. We got two kills. Crazy, man. Crazy. When you get two kills like that. That's very helpful because now it feels like I actually did something uh, when I was going in. So, really nice. I just need to, like, I don't need to feed anything. I just need to back up. Oh, no. Okay, I fed. Never mind. There is a guy on his own, though. One thing I didn't want. I mean, we did fully kill them again, but that's fine. My dude, we paint the zone. Everyone just died. <laughs> we just kind of, kind of gave away some more points than we didn't need to do. There we go. But that fizzy bomb was the thing that's going to take me out there. Or the burst bomb, okay. I did take out two, and it's just like a matter of just watching them from, uh, from there. Nicely done. 
And we're also watching one guy now. There we go. Nice. And uh, it's just a blob in that core area. We could actually pressure this person really hard. There we go. And uh, I'm actually close to the race, so I might as well go for it. There is a guy trying to go up. I'm hitting him. If he tries to challenge that, he might die. No, nope, I'm gonna die. Rest in peace. I should just swim for my ray, dude. <laughs> I mean, there's only two of us up. And there's there's no real point for me to even try. I mean, I still got... Well, I didn't actually get killed. Never mind. Okay. Alright, I have ray. I'm ready to go. There's like a bunch of people here, so... The ray's gonna help with that. Uh, I don't know where exactly that other guy is, but I hit him a bit. Just need a ma just a matter of taking this man out now. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Or is he? Okay, now he's dead. Alright, perfect. Uh, this fan is not gonna come up. There's a guy over here. I'm not gonna be able to hit him. Uh, he's moving like that. It seems like they do really like coming from the right side here. That first one almost killed. That one almost killed. This guy's one. I'm. I have no ink, and I'm gonna die from that. I mean, still killed the Luna Blaster still, but uh, I was really hoping to kill at least kill that Octo Shot who just went for the ink jet there. Because uh, I mean, mainly I put loads of shots into him. There we go. Now he dies. Or did he? No. Okay. Now he dies. Now he dies. Killed. And this is gonna be the game for us. Nice and quick. Nice. There we go. Oh my god, almost just choked. <laughs> almost choked on myself. Anyways. Alright. That's another game on Sturgeon. Uh, with the custom jet. We got two full kills with the Stingray. Which is very, very good. We didn't get as much Stingrays in that game, but... Uh, it's fine. We won, and we're moving on. Alright guys, so here we are. Once in... Well, once again, in a game, using none other than the custom Jet Squelcher. And we finally get Port Mackerel. That's crazy. Alright, so hoping to get a, a quick sting right here. I just need to remember I need to throw one Burst Bomb and then just continue to shoot. And then uh, things should be pretty okay from there. Alright. So we're shooting. Uh, if I go here, I should be able to get all of this area here. It might take a little bit to actually build up, but it's fine. Main thing is just get to the end point, which is over here. That roller is pushed up really hard. Getting a lot of hits there. There's a guy over here. all the way over here. There we go, nice. Oh my gosh. It's just that Trisosha. He has a jump there. There we go. Using the burst bomb combo. You get one burst bomb shot and then... Well, you get one direct burst bomb hit and then you shoot twice at a guy. And they basically die. Uh, shooting that umbrella. Don't die, my friend. I got you. Uh, okay, this is going to be a little bit difficult here. I don't know what we're going to do. We got Stingray ready, though. I just need to use Stingray and be safe. Here, so... Exactly what I'm going to do. There's a guy coming right side. He's very weak. There we go, nice. Now, we can get, easily get back in the zone here. That must be the roller, for sure. There we go, nice assist. And we're looking for the splatter shot. He's over there. You can push this man all the way back. Push the brother back as well. Uh, it's a bit little awkward. I'm glad that my friend actually moved with me there, so that's actually pretty cool. Majority guys here. I outrange all of these guys with that bomb. That's really unfortunate. That's very, very unfortunate. That's not what I wanted there. Because I wanted to just move. I wanted to move back, but then they got a little bit stuck in the ink there, so. It made things a little awkward. But we already have taken out one. It's just a matter of us fighting the rest of these guys. Okay, I can't use my Stingray just yet. There we go. Alright. Stingray here. Okay, no. Exactly. There's a Brella right under us. Very unfortunate. Oh, these missiles are going to be a little bit weird. Okay, gotta be careful about this roller here. No stick, no splash found kill, but it's fine. This is time to go in, though. It's time to go in. We can paint. Paint zone, please. Nice. I'm actually gonna go Stingray straight away, since I'm already close to it. 
And it's gonna make him really hard for them to actually come back in too. There's a guy over here. He's very weak. I'm hitting another guy. Nice. Last one's on the right side. It's the Umbrella. And now they're all dead. Alright, so we're gonna get a bunch of points off that. Just gonna chill here. And hopefully I can get another Stingray uh, before they try to come in again. These missiles are very annoying though. I just don't want my people to die to those missiles because it makes it harder. Dang, I wasn't watching the right. Dang it. Alright, we're gonna get still two off, which is gonna make it a two versus two situation. That guy should be able to take this roller out. I'm actually coming right next to him. Okay, nice. And there's one on our left. Oh, and this guy too. What the bomb? I didn't see it. I didn't see the bomb. They're actually both on our side. Okay, one on our left. You can fight these guys. Alright, cool. And it's just the one on his own. The roller must have jumped in just there. He's actually already dead. Kill the guy on the left. Go on with the burst bomb. Uh, but, okay, there's still a guy over here. There's a jump there. He's weak! Okay, we're gonna take him out straight away. I'm close to a stingray. I just don't want to die to these missiles. Also, we should paint zone. I'm just gonna ray... There we go. Nice! All dead. Perfect. In the, while he's on spawn, he's very weak coming out. So that's going to make things really easy for us. And there we go. That's going to be a good game. That's a that's a really nice game, actually. <laughs> so. I think we did pretty well there. We had a good, some, some good stingrays. Besides that one we were on the snipe area and... Like, I should have just held on to it more, but I mean, I think it, I mean, I, I guess it didn't really matter too much. Maybe I could have used it earlier to help my one teammate on the right side, but I mean, either way, still did well. And uh, yeah, I think we'll do one more game after that one. Oh, okay. So we're back into, <clears throat> we're back into another game. All right. Poor Mackerel. Let's go. All right. We get map variety. That's what I wanted. All right. Let's see. Ah, okay. This is uh, the very final game. So let's get into this thing. And, uh, what's it called? Try and get my Stingray real fast. And I'm just gonna paint up over here, we're gonna go over here. I don't know how to get Stingray really fast here. I don't know what the key points are. I feel like going here is, like, pretty self-explanatory, but sometimes I feel like I can get more. Is that guy still here? Yeah, he's still in there. He's weak. There we go, that's my assist. Hopefully that helps. That's gonna be two guys. We can quickly neutralize here. Uh, we're gonna get one. This one T Tech Sambada. So chilling over here. Nice. You guys got him. I need to look at him more. Unless there's more. I mean, well, okay, we didn't get him. Okay, now he's dead. <laughs> I give, like, too much. Uh, I rely on my teammates too, maybe a little too much sometimes. <laughs> But that's what I just would do on a team. Like, I try and give people the opportunity to be like, Alright, go get him, man. You got him. And I, especially if I know he's probably going to be dead. You know, so. Uh, either way. We've got control of the zone. I died with a Stingray, but it should not be too bad. Because I can just build up another one as I'm coming out of spawn. This time I'm going to go to the left side and build it. And uh, I'm glad that they've already used their missiles. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to save my Stingray. I'm going to save it since they just killed two. No point. I'm just going to get a straight full wipe. Now, but I'm going to use it, my Stingray, hopefully aggressively. I just need to know where these guys are going before I can actually try and do something here. There we go. That guy's very weak. And the last guy's over here. Alright. Alright, just uh, move over here. Just, actually, just move backwards. And I'm chilling. Use my burst bomb to actually paint up that... Uh, that mess, basically. And I'm gonna slowly back up. Go to the right sides. One guy here. Can easily shoot him down. Nicely done. And it's just the last guy on the top left there. And then we basically win. Nicely done. Cool. Alright, so... I think uh, that's gonna be the last game. We had good map variety. We had a lot of wins. And, uh, I think the Stingrays were decent. Don't you guys think? I think they were pretty good. So, good stuff. And I shall see you guys in the plaza.
Alright, so that's going to be the episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a very nice one uh, to do, because I do really like that weapon. Uh, shout out to you guys in the premiere chat. Make sure to leave a like before you leave the video. And also you guys watching in the future, go ahead and leave a like on the video, because it'll definitely help my channel out, and just let me know that you guys actually really enjoy this series. So, uh, Either way, uh, what else do I need to talk about? That weapon's really cool, I like it. I'm picking Team Ketchup. I don't like mayo, uh, and uh, what else to talk about? Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I don't have much to say anyways. Uh, go ahead, please. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button. Let's hit the subscription button to let you guys know whenever I upload a video. Also, consider joining my public Discord, where you can go ahead and talk to myself and my Dude Society community. It's also the best place to be notified uh, whenever I do go live on Twitch. So just, you know, go join the Discord. You don't have to say anything there, but we do talk quite a lot in there, so... With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, that's all I gotta say. Weapon's fun, and I shall see you guys in a future one.